more breaking news just coming in. Well, BSP Supremo Mayawati has slammed Rajya Sabha chairman saying that it's he who is responsible for poor functioning of the house since he is never present after 12 in the afternoon. Now this attack comes just days after Ansari had accused MPs of ignoring the chair. So a direct attack on the chair by Mayawati, BSP chief who has been in loggerheads uh, as far as other parties in the Rajya Sabha is concerned over SC ST quota promotion bill. Remember, Rajya Sabha chief Hamid Ansari, in fact, had called for a meeting of the rules committee uh, to try and get the house to function again and conduct the question hour smoothly. In fact, also hinted uh, yesterday that the whole uh, idea of uh, having question hour at this time during the day could possibly be junk considering there is commotion in the house over one issue or the another. Remember, several days have been lost to deadlock over FDI in multi-brand retail. The upper house, of course, witnessing a lot of uh, indiscipline yesterday as well. Mr. Ansari had uh, admonished some of the members. This, of course, has clearly upset Mayawati, who has today hit out of the chair. She has taken on uh, um, uh, Hamid Ansari, Rajya Sabha chairman there, saying it's he who is not present, and that which is why there is poor performance a uh, little work that is being done in the Rajya Sabha. All right, we try and get you some more reactions there on the direct attack that Mayawati, direct charge that Mayawati is making at Rajya Sabha chairman Hamid Ansari, saying it's because of Ansari, he's to be blamed for non-performance in the upper house. Remember, Hamid Ansari yesterday had expressed a lot of exasperation this after we saw a lot of shouting and commotion in the upper house. He in fact had said yesterday that he has to he has no choice but to watch helplessly as these disruptions during the question hour continue. He in fact proposed two options. One of course was to move the question hour to another time of the day and two of course he raised the issue that some of the members do not seem to be uh, attaching too much importance to the questions that are answered during the question hour. Those are two important points that uh, Hamid Ansari had raised. Ate Khan now joins us with more details. Ate, we heard a very exasperated Hamid Ansari yesterday uh, as he was trying to break the deadlock in Rajya Sabha and today a direct attack from Mayawati on Rajya Sabha chairperson Hamid Ansari. So well, that's right. Uh, the chairperson has yesterday uh, he's come down heavily uh, when uh, there was disturbance uh, in the house. Uh, he said that uh, uh, why not uh, do away with the question hour? But today, uh, Mayawati has uh, uh, has uh, given a statement uh, in Raj Sabha saying that uh, the chairperson is not available after 12 o'clock. So uh, clearly, she has uh, uh, you know retaliated um, after the chairperson's uh, statement yesterday. Let me also quickly go across to Atish Srivastav, who also joins us from Parliament. Uh, Atish, uh, customary, you know, shouting, sloganeering, disruptions that we've been witnessing in this entire session, and it's no different from how it's been uh, in other sessions, at least over the past one year. Uh, a lot of uh, exasperation that was shown by Hamid Asari yesterday, which has invited the wrath of Mayawati now. Well, exactly, because Mayawati was pretty aggressive in her approach as well as uh, the blame on the chair was concerned. She clearly said that it is, it is the chair's responsibility to run the house and it is the chair which is not running the house properly. That is what Mayavati's claim was and the house got adjourned after that. So Mayavati has come with a clear intent that she wants quota bill to be discussed and passed because that is what serves her political because, uh, uh, as far as UP political gains are concerned because she is eyeing her vote bank and that is something which she is very determined about. So she is not going to budge from her stand. In fact, right now also the house has been adjourned it's still 12.30. In fact, in Lok Sabha as well, BSP MPs are uh, in the well and shouting slogans against the government and saying that they are not very serious about getting quota bills. And she's also blaming BJP for not being that serious because it's a constitution amendment. They would need support of parties like BJP. But BJP right now is acting as a bystander. They're watching some other party and BSP is slugging, slugging it out. And they are saying that it is center's responsibility to sort out the mess and run the house. Atashivasa Khan, thank you both for joining us with those details.